Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad. In the last part, we went through the Team Rocket headquarters and took down some um, people like Petrol, one of the uh, administrators. And in this part, uh, after hearing that Murkrow give away the password, who so happens to be right here, uh, we're going to follow him and probably head to the main chamber that requires that password, this main chamber. What, what's going on here? Like, seriously, what, what's happening? We don't know until we actually find out, and hopefully I did not take away some, um... I did not... I took out as much, uh, trainers as possible, and... Hey, an item that I missed! Huh, how about that? It's a full heal, heals all, all statuses, including confusion, which is nice. Uh, I never even know if it actually, um, ever stopped, uh... The other thing... That's, that's great to know. If it ever stopped an infatuation. But yeah. And... This is a pretty good place to be. The password is... Hail Giovanni! Brock! Murkrow screamed the password, mimicking the voice of Petrol. Now, I, I wouldn't know how Murkrow would voice Petrol. If anything, it should be chat talk, but... Okay. It doesn't really make much sense. Since when Murkrow talks, anyways. I mean, yeah, Meowth talks. Okay, whatever. And there he goes. Unfortunately, we can never buy old Murkrow until we get a chance to actually see it in the wild. Anyways, hold it right there. Whoa. We can't let a brat like you do as, like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it lessen, you see. So it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fly, fight at the same time, You'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? Hee hee hee. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Ooh, I like it when you call me that. I like it when you thrash me all around. Hold it! A two-on-one battle? That is no fair. Typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky. Allow me to join the battle. Oh my god. I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rockets. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear it all the time. But hey, this is another uh, new am administrator or executive... Ariana, uh, she is pretty tough in this fight. Um, I guess she's pretty tough in the later fight, but yeah, she's pretty she's pretty strong. <laughs> now, what's cool is that uh, Lance is Lance has a Dragonite by by her side. Ridiculous, yes. I I was stoked beyond belief. In fact, it's at level 40, which is even like cooler as well. Uh, I'm gonna bring out Fires just for the fact that whoa, Dragonite. Lance, you pack a punch. Uh, does that actually kill it? It does. Holy crap. That's actually really cool. Alright, Sahara got some level ups and stuff. And... Oh, you're attacking me. Oh yeah, I probably seemed like I had the thingy up. And hey, it's a Murkrow. I'm still not buying him. Don't worry about it. But maybe next time. Uh, let's do Flame on and I guess. Now... Um, oh, fine. Take, take your chance, Dragonite. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you who follow me on Twitter should know that my internet has been down, and I had to do some certain amount of recording. Recording that does not require Pokemon bios, and luckily in this episode I won't be bioing any Pokemon, which is one of the reasons why there's no point of me bioing Murkrow. Even if I had to bio Murkrow, it wouldn't be by a trainer battle or a sprite, but yeah, unfortunately I can't, uh... Uh, unfortunately, I can't really do any of those kind of things, so I'm just going to record how I normally record, and this episode is bio-free. It's all about me, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Anyways, I like how me and Dragonite uh, ran away from battle <laughs> just to do our own attack, and I should really... Wow, you missed. Some dragon you are. I should really switch back to uh, Hera, that way I could just, yeah, make sure he gets some... Or she gets some uh, stuff. And oh, acid actually attacks both of us. Okay, well, let's bring up Hera now because I don't want to waste any more time. And like I said, I still love this Team Rocket song. It's so good. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have any bug attacks, but uh, right. how does Acid hit both of us? If anything, it'll be Sludge Wave. Okay. Well, um. Let's do Aerial Ace. I, f I completely forgot I had that, actually. 
All right. Or or you can do fly Dragonite. That's fine with me. I wonder if I could see uh his um HP when I press start. Unfortunately, that's a little uh, too late. All right. You could become an executive. Ha! <laughs> I'd rather be an executor. Okay, no, that that joke is kind of old. <laughs> But that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll have to appreciate Tim Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. Hee hee hee. Okay. Bitch. Sorry, Ishan. I, had, I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there is left to do is turn off the ra odd radio signal. Yep. Make sure you look both ways before crossing a road, Lance. And Dragonite. It's a machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice but to make all the electrodes faint. Yay! We get to actually kill Pokemon for once! That's my life goal dream. It's no fault of the electrodes, so it makes me feel sad. Let's split the job. Let's do pain split. Alright. Yep, we're going to, uh... Basically kill all electrodes if anything make them faint it, 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 even when we make them faint there's no I don't think anyone's gonna come in here to take them to the Pokemon Center so <laughs> that's pretty crazy now finding these electrodes are pretty annoying because since they're they're pretty faster than you unless you have a crowbat um, but they have a chance of probably doing a self-destruct and that would hurt a lot plus they have static yeah uh, if if my paracross can be any slower, it had to be slower. Um, I'm not sure if you can if you could actually catch these electrodes. If you could, that'd be fine. Uh, especially early on, that's even better. But like I said, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to give away like what her what electrode actually does. But um, mm, maybe we just should wait until uh, there's a certain point. And hey, you're not doing um. At least he's not doing uh self-destruct which is fine yeah 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 do your spark spark is one of my favorite of uh, electric attacks for some reason uh, there's something about like having a good decent amount of power early on but having a good amount of chance to paralyze the opponent I like that I like that and why do you take more de more health seriously he probably has a nature that I don't know of but uh my god it, it like meh. okay whatever Actually, no, Natures doesn't really make it. Actually, yeah, I, th I think Natures do matter for uh, wild Pokemon it's rather than uh, trainers. And the last Electrode. Yeah, these fights go on pretty uh, long, at least. It's getting dark in my room. Luckily, uh, when I'm. Luckily, it's not even my power that's out, it's just my internet, which is good. Um, actually, no, um, there's a p outlet that I use for my. Um, there's an outlet I use for my computer to charge my computer and stuff, but the outlet's no longer working. I'm charged, and I'm supposed to, you know, record in this place, but I can't do that since, yeah, the outlet's out. So I'm pretty much recording against the clock right here. Uh, if anything, the clock that I have to race by is an hour and 43 minutes, which I'm pretty sure is not how long this episode's gonna be. So. I'm pretty okay in that department. So, now that that's done, that odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the best. Oh, he called me the best. Awesome. Let me thank you on behalf. Oh, yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't need any need for it. And we get HMO5 Whirlpool. Ah, I, was, I was pretty good in tune, I must say. Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon to cross wild water, but... Keep this in mind. You can only use it after you've beaten the badge from Mahogany Gym. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. Did I talk? I don't think I even talked. Okay. Well, Whirlpool uh, pretty much is a crappy move. If this was in the first generation, it would be powerful like Fire Spin and Wrap. But it's pretty lame. Uh, it's only good for HM stuff, and I would need it to get a certain Pokemon on my team. But unfortunately, we need to get we need to beat the uh, seven Gymnor to use it. So, yeah. 
Now, speaking of the Senate Gym, you might think we're going to do it today. No, we're not. I'm sorry. I, I know I want to disappoint you guys too much, but we're going to do that probably next episode. We're not ending it here, though. There's two things in particular I wanted to do uh, in two different areas. And yes, it is nighttime. I like it when it's nighttime so, so much. It's awesome. Ugh. Like, anything that relates to what's happening outside, it just makes me feel so homey. It's like Pokemon is meant for these things. Alright, well, let's uh, fly first to, let's say, Goldenrod. I mean, actually, let me make sure I have enough money for this. If you know what I'm doing, kudos to you. I'm pretty sure I have enough money. Yep, I do. Awesome. And I'm still upset that uh, we can't really buy coins in the uh, game corner. Yes, I'm still upset about that. There's certain TMs I really, really want, but whatever. Golden Rod City, here I come. Right here in the fifth floor of the uh, Golden Rod department store, there is a TM I wanted, and I don't think I had it yet. Nope, I still I didn't get it. Uh, TM 52, this is a good place to get it if you wanted it. And I wanted to give it to uh, Yami. And my mom's calling. She's calling me that she delivered something in a Pokemart, which I'm already in. Thanks, Mom. You're reliable. Alright. Uh, this is Focus Blast, the strongest special fighting attack. Pretty inaccurate, yeah, but it's very strong. It's really reliable. And it can lower the opponent's special defense. Uh, I'm not sure how, what's the chances. I think it's just 10, but still. And since Yami uh, specializes in special attack, I'm happy to give it that move. What would I get rid of? I would probably have to say... Uh, this one's tough. i probably have to say Headbutt. I, I, I mean, I don't need Headbutt anymore. Because I'm not planning to use it on any Pokemon that I need. So, yeah. I'll just get rid of Headbutt. Remember, uh, j just in case you need Headbutt again, you can uh, head back to um, the Ilex Forest and talk to that fat guy. So, it's okay if, you miss, if you're missing out and you think you don't know if you could get it again, but you could, so don't worry about that. Anyway, let's head out to the next place. Man, I miss the elevator music. The Goldenrod department store doesn't have the elevator music like it did in the lighthouse. That's lame. Alright. I want to head to Lake of Rage, because if you remember from the previous episode, I think like two episodes ago, I said that every Wednesday the Lake of Rage doesn't rain, and there'll be items laying on the ground. First, I want to talk to her. Um, well, no, not her. Where's her? Where is Wesley? Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, I want to check out some items that we can get here before we head off. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get Wesley Wednesday here, so you can get the, uh, expert belt, which I'll try to find off screen. But, um, why don't we use the max repels here? And surf along the way and have some enjoyable time. You know, I want to I want to relax a bit because it it seems pretty cool to come here in Lake of Rage when it's not raining. And I'm actually curious to see how uh, this place would look if there's no uh like once the place changes by a minute. Like I I, I want to see that. I want to see someone stay in Lake of Rage uh, like Wednesday night and wait for it to turn Thursday uh, morning. And see how things would change. I don't think any of these items would be like TMs or anything so drastic. But, like I said, it's pretty good that they're here. And it's a really reliable way. And very interesting way to like, you know, explore the rest of the area. Like, you can also see the uh, trees that you couldn't, uh, that you've seen before that was flooded before. So, and now since the water's down, that's pretty cool too. Um, I think that's it. Well, then again, there is that whole uh, other aspect of it with the um, the whole roadblock. And I think we have enough time to check it out, I guess. Like I said, I'm, I'm usually into... Uh, I'm usually into running an episode till 20 minutes, at least. So, I think we have some time. Uh, I can't... F Where is Wesley Wednesday? Maybe it's not... Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. It's always hard to find these uh, siblings or whatever. Alright, is there anything around here? I'm pretty sure I don't need any repels at right now. Um, whoa, who's this? What? You trainer? Uh, yeah, I'm skipping this fight. Uh, Firus is trying to learn Swift. 
You know, let's get rid of uh, Quick Attack. I don't think I'll need it. it. It was helpful in this match, actually, but uh, I probably won't need it anymore. And Swift, you know, doesn't miss. It's stronger, so might as well have it. Seriously, where did you come from? Did you Were you, like, swimming down here or something? That's crazy. That's Cray, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think there'll be double battles here, so I'm fine. Alright, get this tree to cut down. Slave Bark 4, do your duty, or else I'll fire you. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe he's, maybe the guy's here. Uh, I am so nervous as that's a trainer, because I, I will not tell. I cannot tell. Alright, let's keep heading. Maybe, maybe that is the person, maybe it's a guy. I mean, Wesley is a guy name. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sorry for any girls that think I think it's a other person's name. Um, but we got some items here. We got a full restore. Wow. Fully heals all HP and cures your uh, status infliction, which is really cool. Uh, I guess we can head up here first. Please don't be a trainer. Yes. Thank you. Pleased to meet you. Please take the silver near. We get the black belt. Powers up finding attacks. I will definitely give this to uh, Hera to boost up its uh, brick break. Uh, so that would be awesome. Boost up his power and stuff. And there's one more roadblock right here that I want to check out. Slave Mark IV. Cut your way through here and I will dispose of you some other time. Uh, Slave Mark IV. How I loathe you. Okay. And right here we get a max revive. So yeah, very good items here. That is a job well done, guys. I did not mean to click on your summary. Why would I want to do that? Alright, so yeah, if you want to check out what's around here, there you go. And with that done, um, I guess we're pretty good around here. Um, so yeah, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we will head into and take on the seventh gym all right so thank you all for watching and i will see you all whenever